Hey guys, what's up? This is Parak from Midas Multimedia and today we are going to learn how to design a logo using reference image or sketch. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe our channel so you don't miss anything. So let's start. This is my new file and I want to import scan. For that, go to file and select place. Select file and click on place. Click to place that file. Now we need to rotate that scan. For that, hold shift, get your mouse at the corner and just rotate. The blue lines indicates that we have not embedded this image. This image is linked with that original image. And if you move this main file to different computer, this file may not be visible. Now to fix this problem, this is not a problem actually, but if you want to embed this image, just click on this embed button. Hold Alt Shift and drag to scale it proportionally. Okay, the next thing is uh, we want to lock this image. Default you get one layer in Illustrator. Go to Window, Layers and click here to lock that layer. Because I don't want to draw anything on this layer. Double click to rename that layer. Create one more layer and rename that to artwork or whatever you want. So naming is not compulsory, but this will definitely help us to identify that layer. Select pen tool and press D for default colors and remove fill color. Press Ctrl plus for zoom in. To start new path, click and release mouse button and on second click, just drag. Click on no to breakpoint. And if you are not familiar with pen tool, please check out my video on how to use pen tool. I have given the link in description below. Make sure that there is no gap between paths. To check this, press Ctrl Y for outline view.
There are different ways to fill color, but I prefer to use live paint bucket tool. To use live paint bucket tool, you must select all the path. Select live paint bucket tool, hold alt and pick color, release alt button and just click to fill color. To check color is properly filled or not, just draw a rectangle and fill any color. Use Ctrl Shift left bracket to send it to back. To remove stroke, click on stroke and click on none. And to separate all parts, go to object, live paint and select expand click right side mouse button and select ungroup press g to adjust gradient Select T to type text and click for point text. You can use any font you want, but for this I am going to use Gilroy. To increase space between letters, use Alt and Right arrow key. And to change font size, click on this counter. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, any sort of content you would like me to cover, be sure to let me know in comments. I would love to have everybody's feedback. 